Hello, this is Lisa from Casa de Greenly Art, and I am back with a interesting painting. Um, this is going to be a purple-based one. I was consolidating some paints on my um, table, some base paints, mixing them together to make whatever it came out to. And I came up with this smoky purple base. I don't know what I mixed in there. I was just mixing a bunch of stuff. I had some purples. I had some, uh, I think I put black in here um, and a little bit of, maybe red. No, red went in the other one. Um, so I thought I would do a split painting with that one and Titanium White by Amsterdam. Our Dioxanine Purple by Liquitex. Morning Pansy Shimmer by Porridge Posse Paints. Sterling Silver by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam. And I'm going to be using a lot of paints on here. Metallic Purple by Artist Loft. For a little contrast, I'm going to be using Nebula by This Little Piggy Pigments. Silver by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Pearl Royal Purple Pearl Royal Purple by Arteza. And again, if you are new here, I did misspell Arteza on all of my labels. And topping it off with Blue Violet Flash by Folk Art Color Shift. I'm going to go flood my canvas and I will be back. So my canvas is flooded. I do have some of the smoky purple left, thank goodness, so I can use it to do my edges and possibly do another painting. So I am going to start off here with the dioxanine purple. I sometimes have good luck with color splits and sometimes I don't, so we'll see how this one goes. I'm gonna do a little bit more of this purple just because it is the darkest one and I want it to kind of show through. Sterling Silver by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. Artist Loft Metallic Purple. This um, Nebula by Little Piggy Pigments is kind of a bluish black, gray, so it, I think it will look really pretty in here to give a little contrast. I think I'm gonna just go through one more time, a little tiny bit. Silver by Deco Art, Extreme Sheen, because we need those cells. has a purple all righty pop the bubbles Let's blow this out.
Oh, that is very pretty. This smoky purple is going to dry darker. Get some of those cells going in this part right here. Okay. Let's see where I want to kind of blow it out a little bit more. Let's do this corner. Trying to get that little white line right there out a little bit. That is really pretty. Some interesting cells coming up through here in the light. Let me blow. Do a little bit more torching. Okay, this part I'm not real crazy about. I think I'm anxious to really see how this is going to look dried. That nebula, that dark grayish blue running through that is really pretty, gives it a nice contrast with all the different purples. All right. I wanted to turn the lights down and show you there are some really interesting cells and sparkle mist. Sparkle mist, not a word, going on here. So I did want to show it to you while it was still wet. Look at that. See the color flash has that little bit of a gold flash in it. Look at these cells right here with the silver and sterling silver. So pretty. And as it dries, it'll continue. These are the cells that I was like, wow. They kind of look like when you use the Australian flow trawl. Let's see if I can get in closer. Camera doesn't want to adjust because of the, but that is really pretty. Oh, now it's changing color on me. Can't wait to see it when it's dry. Here is the dried result. Really happy with this one. This one's showing a little blue again in the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the alarm bell. And I will see you on the next one.